Hello and welcome to Director of Finance Television. We're here at Barnet Waddingham's offices in London and I'm talking to Adam Paulson with me here about accounting and funding. Not easy for the pension industry at the moment, but we always think of this as a year-end problem. But, you know, if a company has to choose between dividend and funding the pension deficit, that is a difficult choice, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, it certainly is, Tanya. It's something that's been in, brought into focus uh, very you know, much so recently, um, you know, a company generates profits and cash, and if it has two mouths to feed, it's a, it's a question of which one to feed, the, the shareholders or the pension scheme. And last year, um, a company called Carclo kind of ran into a bit of a difficulty over this, um, it promised its, its shareholders a dividend, um, and then problems with the pension scheme meant it, in the end, couldn't end up paying them out, um, which resulted in a 20% fall in its, its share price. And that was all due to uh, an issue with a pension scheme. So, really, the, the tr trick is to look at your pension fund before you start making any promises. Is that the answer? I think the trick is is to it's a balancing act. The yeah. pension pension fund is a very long term um, liability, so you've got many years to to pay out on your pension fund. And the trick is to keep your trustees happy um, at the same time as being able to invest in your business and. The regulator is, is very clear on this, that you know, companies should, should um, bear in mind affordability when dealing with pension scheme trustees. Uh, at the back end of 2016, uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of scheme funding valuations kicking out very large deficits at the minute, which lead to big demands from trustees. Um, and companies need to sort of balance that demand with their ability to invest in their business and keep the scheme affordable. So is there guidance house as to how they do that or is it really just a sort of rule of thumb they have to, they have to, it's more an art than a science? It, it, it is more of an art than a science. There, there is guidance out there but it's, uh, it's, it's quite a wide range. So yeah, the pension scheme trustees are very keen to, their, their job principally is to um, protect the benefits of the members. They need to make sure the money's there when, when people retire. They need to be paid out. Whereas um, a company is not going to want to fully fund that up front. So there's a balancing act between getting the money in today and getting it in the future. So trustees will quite often look for some other form of security from a, from a company, such as company guarantee or a charge over of some assets or something called an asset backed contribution structure, which gives them that security and that confidence that there'll be assets there in the future for the pension scheme should their company run into any trouble. Mm. And of course, the company that you mentioned is not the only one, is it? It's, it's, an in, it's a problem uh, right across the corporate sector. It certainly is a problem. Yes, Carclo were in the unfortunate position of uh, just their numbers just uh, tipped them over at a particularly unfortunate time in in the uh, in the year. But yeah, most companies are, are challenged by this um, at the moment, especially maybe uh, your older industries where the size of the pension scheme now is is a lot. Um, bigger than the size of the business. So a lot of companies are struggling to, to finance those pension scheme debts. Now you've hinted at this, but part of the problem is a, a pension fund deficit, but the other part is actually just funding the liabilities. You're quite right. And every three years, um, the pension scheme trustees will come along and uh, do a valuation of their, of their uh, pension scheme and enter into negotiations with a, with a company. And it's at that point that those discussions about how long this is going to be paid and uh, over you know, how much the company can afford. And as I said, back end of 2016, not a great time to have your funding valuation, but a lot of companies will have one then. Uh, and one can only assume that 2017 isn't necessarily going to be easier. Well, things have picked up a little bit. So for companies that have had a valuation but haven't yet uh, agreed funding terms with the trustees, you can take into account the, thing, the fact that um, you know, conditions have improved a bit which can mean companies putting in a bit less now, taking some of that, uh, that good news on board. Pension shortfalls very much in the spotlight, as we've said. So that, that's, that's a bit um, unnerving for members, isn't it? It, it can be. Um, as I said, the pension scheme trustee role is to try to protect those members. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the best asset um, a pension scheme has is a good, strong, viable um, employer. Um, and ideally an employer that's bigger than the scheme or more able to cope with that. Mm. So what a lot of companies are, uh, are looking at now is ways to kind of shrink the size of that scheme. 
you know, over the long term, a smaller scheme is going to be more affordable to companies than a, than a larger scheme. And one way we're working with clients a lot at the moment in that area is to um, educate members about the options they have. So since April 2015, members have been able to take benefits much more flexibly uh, rather than the traditional final salary scheme. They can now switch into a defined contribution arrangement and draw down that benefit as a lump sum or um, payments that suit them. Um, and figures out recently have shown over £9 billion pounds, um, has been paid out to over three quarters of a million individuals willing to access that flexibility. So companies that can um, help their employees work out whether it's the right uh, solution for them can quite often end up with a smaller scheme, which is often great for the members, great for the trustees, and also great for the company. So it really can be a win-win-win situation. Adam Pulsar, thank you very much.